The pod criteria that we're looking at today is the first serve. The serve starts every point in tennis. The serve is also the only shot that you're completely in charge of. No one's hitting the ball to you. So it's the perfect time to take charge and to gain control of the point right away. The principles we need for tactics are placement, then power, and spin. For placement, top US pro Ken DeHart talks about the ABCs of placement. A is an angle serve that takes your opponent off the court. B is a body serve that makes it difficult for them to get a good swing at the ball. C is a center serve that pulls them to the middle, opening up the sides. The placements are critical for tactics. It begins patterns and opens up certain angles that allow us to start in charge of every point. And to win a match in tennis, we need to hold our serve and you only have to break them once. So holding serve and using those tactics are critical. For the power in tennis, power is going to challenge your opponent's timing. It's going to make it difficult for them and also, if it's combined with a placement, makes it very hard to return. And finally, spin is going to curve the ball and it allows us to make the ball do even more, intensifies that placement, makes it a little more effective as well uh, as the ball curves into these positions. So it's critical that the serve starts every tactic in tennis and those tactics are going to allow us to win. Markers I used to see where the serve is when it crosses the baseline. This is a better measure of the serve's effectiveness than where it lands in the service box. Players perform 18 serves in a sequence, one angle, one body, and one center. They then switch to the other side and repeat the sequence. This is done three times. For the angle serve, the ball must be outside the marker, placed where the double sideline and baseline meet. For the body serve, the ball must go between the markers, which are six feet apart. For the center serve, the ball must go between the center mark and a marker placed six feet in towards the sideline. For scoring, one point is awarded for each serve placement, and a second point is given if the serve hits the wall before it bounces a second time. The evaluation is up to 36 points. When it comes to the techniques of the first serve, the most important element is the pass principles again. The pass principles are the P, which is the path of the racket, and then the angle of the racket, and finally the speed of the racket at impact. That's what makes the ball do the things it needs to do to accomplish the tactics of a first serve. For the placements of the first serve, the most important thing is that angle of the racket. And again, we said the ball has three sides. I can hit the inside of the ball, I can hit the back of the ball, and I can hit the side of the ball. That's going to send the ball in our different placement directions. Then there is the S, which is the speed of the racket. And that translates to the power of the ball. When we're serving in tennis, the speed is really a combination of all the lengths of my body in sequence from the ground all the way through to the impact. If I can get a good flow of energy from the ground up transferred into the ball, that's what's going to give me some maximum speed. The other thing is for me to be relaxed. You can't have that coordination and have all the links in place if you're not relaxed. To be relaxed, we'd like to have a little bit of a routine. And you'll see all top players will come to the line, they'll do some bounces. This is the time where we're going to make sure that we're emotionally prepared to serve and physically relaxed. We're ready to do the best serve we possibly can. So to have a nice routine before that in order to get all relaxed and ready to go is really important. Finally, we need an athletic throwing action. And it's not a push, but I really want to throw. And again, that just means all the linkage of my shoulder and my elbow and my wrist. And going through that whole linkage from the ground up, that's going to help get that racket speed in order for us to have good technique to do the tactics we need for the first serve.
These are the performance on demand standards for top provincial junior boys, junior girls, and adults at the various rating levels.